Shalom Juice Gang family. I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be sharing with you all everything that I have picked up from Walmart, the Asian Market, and Sam's Club. These are items that I already have in my house and I'm just trying to build my prepper stash up. But before I show you all everything that I picked up from the store, and the kids are in there taking a nap, so it was a long day. I'm just going to try to be quiet so I don't wake them, but I want to touch on something real quick. There are a lot of people who are out here who are doing a lot of fear mongering for views, for likes, so that way they can, you know, make their money on YouTube because this is really a big topic right now. But with that being said, I just want to let you all know, do not fall into the hype. Know the real from the fake. Know who's really feeding you real information and who's not. Always do your research. Even when it comes to me, always do your research. And put your faith in the creator and know that he is going to lead you and guide you and protect you and your family and make sure that you're okay. Hey, there's a lot of people out here who don't believe in God. But the same ones who don't believe in God, they believe in the devil. And that is really disturbing to my brain. You believe in the devil, but don't believe in God. But I'm going to leave that alone. That's a topic for another day. Just continue to prep, get everything that you need. Because even in the Bible, they prepare for phantoms and survive through it. So this is all I'm telling you. Prep, prepare, and get what you need. Never get caught up on these die, hard, die hardcore preppers who have everything that you may feel like you may not be able to afford. Because you know what? All you need to do is get what you need for your family your family, your household. Like, y'all know me. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I come hardcore and I keep it real. I got two little babies. So I just need to make sure that I got enough to feed their mouths. Hey, if some neighbors come through and they need something, here, you can have it. But at the end of the day, I just got two little babies. Prepare your household for what you need. I don't know if y'all heard that plane going over my head, but yeah, I got a plane right now flying over my head because I live real close to uh, the base and everything. But with that being said, I'm really taking a step back and looking at what everyone is doing and um, what everyone is saying and portraying all over YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I don't get caught up into that. Mm -mm, no. Because fear is of the devil. Only the strong will survive. Are you a part of the strong? And if you know you are, then you keep your head up and you continue to do what you do. So I'm going to go in here and show you what I picked up to add to my stash. And then in my next video, I will be showing you all, I don't know, I may do a cooking video because I do want to introduce some recipes that can help you um, get your cooking st skills up for hard times. Because I know there's a lot of people who don't know how to cook because they depend on fast food, the Franken foods and these fast food industries because I don't eat that type of stuff. So, um, yeah, this is, this is going to be... Uh, some good info that I'm going to be giving to you all in my next future videos. So with that being said, stay tuned. I love you all. Hit that subscribe button and shalom. So I just got back from the store and here's everything that I got for today to add to my stash. And I'm going to go in one by one and show you everything. Now, please keep in mind a lot of stuff that I have here, some of this stuff I normally would not buy, but I'm trying to build my stash up and we're talking about survival mode. So that's what is happening. So 
right here I picked up the chunky classic uh, chicken noodle soup and then I have down here some Campbell's just a regular chicken noodle soup because if something kicks off soup is going to be very important so I'm going to continue to load up on these then I have here uh, diced tomatoes I brought as you can see two of them and then I have here one cream of mushroom soup and then I have here my monk fruit sweetener now remember you're supposed to be buying things to load up on that you like I do do a low carb diet so me loading up on these sweeteners are good I'm going to load up on regular sugar too but I still want to have healthy stuff in my stash and then I have back here uh, jerky because this beef jerky lasts a while and I'm going to be loading up on so many more of these and I brought two. Then I have here this big bag of jasmine rice and then I have here this big container of soy sauce. And I'm going to be loading up on more of these because if we're going to be eating a whole bunch of rice, you're going to need some good condiments to go with it. And soy sauce is going to work well with that. And then I have here hot sauce because, hey, I love hot sauce. Who doesn't love hot sauce? And I'm going to be loading up on more of these. And uh, I have here regular mayo. And then I have Miracle Whip. Now... I normally would not buy these, and that's simply because of the soybean oil that's in here. But we're talking about a do or die situation, so beggars can't be choosy right now. This is survival mode, so I'm going to be loading up on more of these stuff. And just to keep the rotation going, of course, I'm going to be using it, but not on an everyday basis. And then I have here nuts. My kids love nuts. And believe it or not, uh, let's see, the expiration date on this, I don't know if you all can see that, but uh, the expiration date is 2021 in June. So I'm going to be loading up on more of these because we all love nuts in my house and I like to have healthy snacks in my home. And then I have here, here we go. The Chef Boyardee Overstuffed Raviolis. <laughs> I couldn't even believe I was buying these. And I have the chicken ones too. The chicken Alfredo. Because I cook everything fresh in my house. If you follow me on my Instagram, I would never ever buy these. But because we're talking about survival mode, I got to make sure I got things for my family. And... Uh, I got the beef and I made sure there was no pork in it because we don't eat pork. And um, I got some regular ones too, not just the overstuffed ones. And believe it or not, this is all that they had at my Walmart. I'm like, what the heck is going on? And then I got these too, the beefaroni. And I'm going to go back and continue to load up on these. Now, I had brought one of these just to see if my kids would like it. And I'm going to be honest, the oldest one liked it, but the little one didn't. And that's what happens when you cook fresh all the time. But to see that he was giving it a chance to try it, it let me know that I can put these in the stash because this is something that I can eat if I have to survive off of one meal a day. This is something that I will be putting in my body along with some you know, protein shakes and stuff like that to keep me healthy and keep me going to survive. Then I picked up some jackfruit from my local Asian market. And I'm going to go back and get more because, again, these were the last two. It's crazy. And then I have here a whole bunch of sardines. And sardines is a good source of protein. And these were 99 cents, so you can't beat that. And let's run it back to the jackfruit. The expiration date on this is... March 2022 so that's good and like I said I'm going to go back and get some more you can do so much with jackfruit 
I mean, you can make this stuff taste like chicken. So when you ain't got no meat, please load up on some of these. I'm telling you, you will not notice the difference. I have tricked so many people with this and they couldn't believe it. They were like, what? That's jackfruit? I'm like, yep, jackfruit. Then I have here um, some tuna, tuna and water. I don't like to do the whole oil thing, so I like to get my stuff in oil because I don't like to deal with that soybean oil. So I picked up one of these and um, I picked up some salmon. Uh-oh. Oh, that's just a coupon that fell off. Um, I picked up some salmon and water. Two of these. And I kid you not, I'm trying to find, look at this, cans without dents in them. I mean, my goodness. It is so hard to find cans without dents in them these days. It's mind-blowing. <laughs> um, let me put this coupon back up in here. Give me a minute. Okay. I picked up two water filters to add to my stash and I have a lot of these in my stash already and I'm going to be picking up more and then I picked up some albacore tuna and water picked up two packs of that and there's eight in here so this is really good and I got I got these from Sam's and then I have here chicken and water chicken breast and I have three of these so this is what I picked up for today to add to my stash and I'm going to be getting more stuff to continue adding to my stash and um, so far everything is looking good I mean if I can spend 50 a week on food that's good but I have been spending a little over a hundred because like I've really been loading up on a lot of different things. So I say do what you need to do within your budget and get what you need to get. So that's it for this video. I really hope that you all like it. Remember to load up on the foods that your family is going to enjoy and eat. And a lot of these things that I'm buying is because these are specific things that I know that my family will love and it's going to work for us. So I can't wait to share more videos with you all in the future on things that I'm going to be stocking up on. And I hope everyone has a blessed, safe day. I love you all. Shalom.